Miss Universe Philippines 2021, Shika Kalapasha. This stunner is both a scuba diver and marine advocate. She joined Miss Scuba Philippines in 2019 and finished second runner-up. Beatrice Gomez. She is 24-year-old beauty, is not new to the pageantry, as she was a part of Miss Mando 2015, winning the second runner-up title. For her studies, Beatrice went to University of San Jose, Recoletos and currently works as a model at AD Models, Philippines on Eat Femme. Confirmed applicant for Miss Universe Philippines 2021. Chella Grace Falconer representing Ms. Amos Oriental. Janela Joy Piggin Quatton, 24 years old, stands 5 feet 7 inches is a beauty pageant title holder and model from Doha, Qatar who won the Mutia in Pilipinas 2015 Tourism International title, she's also part of Miss World Philippines 2017 semi-finalist. Filipino American Heritage. Born on June 6, 1993, Katrina Jane Dimaranan inherits a dual Filipino American heritage. She has been crowned with a national title, Bini Bining Pilipinas Tourism. She's also represented USA at Miss Supranational 2018 and won first runner up title. Crystal Abello. 
Crystal is 26 years of age and is an aspiring model from San Diego, California. She received her BA in communication from California State University San Marcos. The beauty is now all ready to rock the stage of Miss Universe Philippines 2020 with her charming beauty and her amazing personality. The beauty has amazing talents and is very photogenic. Steffi Abra Stewart. Steffi is 26 years old and stands 170 centimeters tall and has graduated with a degree in tourism management from University of San Carlos. She works as an ESL teacher and a professional model as well. Grown up in Liloan, Cebu, Steffi is of Spanish, Australian and Filipino descent. Victoria Velasquez. Fresh faces like Victoria's always bring an element of excitement and tend to give pageants more boost as it creates a sense of anonymity in the competition. The performances of these contestants are unpredictable and create a lot of hype among pageant followers. Lauren May Bautista. Lauren has been crowned in several major pageants such as Mutia in Pilipinas Asia Pacific International 2015 and Binibine in Pilipinas Globe 2019. She represented the Philippines at the Miss Tourism Queen of the Year International 2015 where she was crowned as the winner and at the Miss Globe 2019 pageant where she placed as second runner-up.
Dominating the list is Maureen Rabowitz, a Filipino-German fashion model, who is best known for being the first Filipina to win the fifth season of Asia's Next Top Model. The beautiful diva is 20 years of age and was born in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, where she spent 12 golden years of her life before relocating to Germany. Maureen seems to be a versatile diva. How would I describe my home province? Hmm, the same way I describe love. It feels like home and an adventure at the same time. Tada, kabita tayo. Wherever my brave Cavatenya heart takes me in our province, it's as if I'm walking through a history book. Where the pages are brought to life and I feel the power of my people. Through the battles they fought and the heritage structures they left behind. As a Cavatenya architect and heritage conservationist, there is no place I would rather be. Cavateño culinary creations never fail to leave my mouth watering. Tara, kain tayo? My adventurous Cavateña heart may lead me elsewhere, but no matter how far I go, I will always find my way back home. In honor of our glorious past, through the colorful and captivating nature of our present. Kavita, it's time to write the pages of the future with you. Ako si Victoria Velasquez Vincent. Ako ay isang proud Filipina mula sa lalawigan ng Kavita. Hi everyone, this is Princess Krista Singh and welcome to Pasig City! Tara! At samahan niyo kong libutin ang pinakamamahal kong Pasig City. History Diversity Community Progress Change Defined and harnessed by its history and now being one of the most highly urbanized cities in the Philippines, Pasig has immensely evolved through the years. As an overseas Filipino worker, I've always looked forward in going back home during important occasions, especially Christmas, to enjoy the most anticipated event in Pasig City, the traditional annual celebration of Pasco Tita. And of course, food! If you love pastries and native delicacies, the Masalang Bakery is the place to be. With an array of original recipes such as Brazo de Mercedes, their uniquely named Diko Akalain, and do their best-selling egg pie. These will surely arouse your taste buds and satisfy your cravings. And the most important asset of our city 
is our people, the Pasigenos. Speaking of Pasigenos, a cooperative called Kilis Foundation is an outcome of women empowerment. They became an effective partner in the area of solid waste management, of which products are now being sold in 12 countries in Europe, Asia, and US. The past, the present, and the future. We hope that our city becomes instrumental in helping our nation build a better and promising future for everyone. Because in Pasig, patuloy na umaagos ang pagasa. Again, this is Princess Krista Singh, proudly representing the city where the most handsome mayor lives, Pasig City. of Manila. Now, the buildings are being restored to maintain its original Art Deco design. Binondo, the oldest Chinatown in the world. Even before the Spaniards ruled, Filipino-Chinese trade relations already flourished, creating an entire district. We are now at the plaza to the first Filipino saint, San Lorenzo Ruiz. In Dremuros, almost completely devastated during the World War II when the Japanese forces burned the city to the ground, we, the Manileños, survived and rebuilt Manila reflective of our noble spirit and generous hearts. Let's stop over at my favorite restaurant, Thank you. Let's go. Oh. I love. One of my favorite places here in the city, the Jones Bridge, formerly known as Puente de España, that was first constructed in the Spanish colonial era in the 1630s. Manila, reminiscing the past, living the present, and a gateway to the future. Come and share my Manila with me. Hold on to your dreams. Soon, it will get better. Mabuhay! I am Rosane Marie Bernos and I'm happy to show you around the beautiful city of San Juan! San Juan City is very rich in history. In fact, this is where the first battle of the Philippine Revolution took place. In 1896, when Katipaneros attacked Spanish forces in San Juan del Monte, the Philippine Revolution truly began. Today, the spirit of Pinaglabanan lives on in us San Juanenos as we continue to face and win our own battles in the 21st century. The city of San Juan has since grown into a thriving residential and commercial hub known for its schools, hospitals, neighborhoods, art venues, and shopping centers. It is home to families, it is home to artists, and it is home to entrepreneurs. is also known as the Tangye capital of the Philippines. From our churches, monuments, and our prolific museums, to our restaurants and entertainment venues, 
San Juan City is where culture meets commerce. It's where yesterday meets the future. History, heritage, and progress. This is Makabagong San Juan. Mandaluyong City, the heart of Metro Manila. Kurin, saan ka sa Mandaluyong? Sa loob o sa labas? This is the Tiger City! World-class shopping malls, melting pot of fashion, leisure, glamour, and progress, Legendary home of the beauty, the brave, and the heroes. The smart city of the future. Growing up in the second smallest city of Metro Manila, Mandaluyong was once known as a joke town before it achieved its promising progress of the future. Truly proud of our humble beginning, our city is the home of people who takes care of the mentally ill at the National Center for Mental Health. We empower our citizens to reform and give chances to women who were deprived of freedom and liberty at the Correctional Institution for Women. And lastly, our people remain ultimately as the country's most child-friendly city of the Philippines as we continuously take care and provide the welfare of our children with various disabilities at the Project Teach Institution. All of these make us the people with compassionate hearts. Mandaluyong is a highly urbanized city at tune with balanced ecosystem and nurturing environment. We believe that real progress is at its peak through sustainable development. This is Maria Corazon Abalos. Tuloy po kayo sa loob ng Mandaluyong. Maabi Gaolo, I am Joanna Marie Rabe and welcome to my home. Only a soul founding a walk from the forest, chattering mountains to the silent whispers of the waves on the beach. Zambales is truly a place where you can find inner peace as you glance towards the tranquil sunset. A trending summer destination located on the west coast of the country. Growing the sweetest mangoes, it can only be matched by the hospitality of the Zambalenos. The aftermath of Mount Pinatubo eruption shows how we remain resilient and steadfast, determined to rise from the ashes. Colorful celebration for a blessed and bountiful harvest such as the annual Dinamulag Mango Festival. Utilizing the natural resources, some Balenos can farm fresh produce for the markets, helping to build our economy and sustain the livelihood of the people. We respect the order of nature and put back just as much as we take. The journey to Zambales is a happy adventure to share with friends. Indulging in nature, the excitement of every conversation and every meal, the smiles of the people, and the unforgettable experience. This is where my dreams have been founded. This is my home, my tahanan. This is my Zambales. Oh, 
know where this used to be, the shopping capital of Manila. Now, the buildings are being restored to maintain its original Art Deco design. Binondo, the oldest Chinatown in the world, even before the Spaniards ruled, Filipino-Chinese trade relations already flourished, creating an entire district. We are now at the plaza, dedicated to the first Filipino saint, San Lorenzo Ruiz. Intramuros, almost completely devastated during the World War II, when the Japanese forces burned the city to the ground. We, the Manilenios, survived and rebuilt Manila, reflective of our noble spirit and generous hearts. Let's stop over at my favorite restaurant, El Estrado. Thank you. Let's go. I love One of my favorite places here in the city, the Jones Bridge, formerly known as Puente de España, that was first constructed in the Spanish colonial era in the 1630s. Manila, reminiscing the past, living the present, and a gateway to the future. Come and share my Manila with me. Hold on to your dreams. Soon, it will get better. <laughs> Discover a place that has it all. A paradise where you can enjoy the most stunning beaches where the untainted Kalangaman Island can be found. Known for its finest powdery white sand and crystal clear turquoise water. A place where you fall in love with its history and story. It's so rich in culture that each corner has its own story to tell. A place where you can commune with nature. It's so welcoming and it's so inviting, just like its people. Set foot in the Bridge of Love, in the longest bridge in the Philippines. San Juanico Bridge. Imagine a place that has strong ties to the sea. A place that was once inhabited by seasoned fishermen. A beautiful landscape hugged by lush bays. And most of all, be home to some of the most culturally and linguistically diverse people. Maupay na adlaw hayo nga tanan. I'm Nathalie Dacuno, a delegate of Miss Universe Philippines 2021, proudly sharing with you my home, Tacloban City.
economic center of the Eastern Visayas region, Tacloban is a hot spot of historical and cultural landmarks, colorful festivals, and breathtaking tourist spots. Today, the San Juanico Bridge, or more commonly known as the Bridge of Love, stands between the two provinces. It spans a whopping 7,100 feet, making it the longest bridge in the Philippines. A strong but beautiful dialect that reflects Tacloban's resilience is Guaray. Even years after Yolanda struck my city, the level of strength you'll find in the eyes of the Taclobanon is unmatched. We were able to rise from the situation and bring back Tacloban to its former glory. It's always a pleasure to share my city to visitors. But we need to remember the travel responses. With that, you can tell that my phenomenal city has so much to offer, and I am proud to honor my city. Kuro, nagpapasalamat han kiyo suporta, padayon kita mga waray nun. My feet have taken me to a lot of places, and I loved where I have been. But these feet will always lead me back to where my heart is, home. Here, where I am free, where I am safe, where food is shared with neighbors, where stories connect nature and people, where the past is as valued as the present, where resiliency is the strongest character, and unity is the language of love. Mabuhay. Ako, si Cherry Angel Anfrihalis, a proud Capistan. Join me as we capture Capi! Our long stretch of beaches invite you to be carefree and relive the child in you. Caves do not only shelter living things, but also stories of our gallant heroes. And hills hold some of the country's tallest statues of veneration, resembling the faith of its people. And our churches withstand the test of time and calamities. We progress by teaching the young people the old ways of our folks and the knowledge of our indigenous peoples, so they remain grounded and rightful bearers of the Kapisdon culture. We tell our tales through our dances and chants, offer our dishes and delicacies. This is what we own, and this is what we share. Capiz is about its people, its stories. Now, let your feet lead you to my home. With our windows open, I am here showing Capiz to the rest of the universe. Do you miss me? You've been apart too long haven't seen one another in a while. Have you been well? Have you suffered pain and loss? You must be tired. You need to come back. You need to rest. Normal is not coming back. But I am here. I am waiting. I have become even more beautiful and resilient in the face of an overwhelming crisis. There is nothing like waking up to see me, the one that you love. Nothing compares to my mist, my drizzles, my scent, my taste, my vibrance. I am both romantic and nostalgic. I am rich my beautiful and tragic past a kaleidoscope. I am night and day. I am the rain and the sun. I am water and fire. You are rooted in me, me in you. We are deeply anchored and intertwined. This life, the universe transformed us made us evolve with the seasons with the monsoons and the storms the rays the heat of the sun you must come back you must care for me more than ever 
man to land, land to man. Come, breathe, bag you. An island where the beauty of its sunrise not ceases to warm the hearts of its people, where the praising mist of the mountains flow to a bed of wonders, and where its waves are as gentle as its people. Negros Oriental. The fun starts here naturally. Ako si Grace Charmaine Vindiola. Dali, dayon ka mo sa Maanyag o Pinalanga kong probinsya, Negros Oriental. My home is a melting pot of natural wonders. Our beautiful beaches with its caressing ocean breeze ease the minds of those who feel and see its allure. Dive down into its depths and you'll find beauty in the abundance of marine biodiversity. Every step in the realms of God's glory, we receive and discover more than what we see. To our towering 100 foot tall Kaiserora waterfall that speaks worthy praise for its sheer beauty and splendor. To the mighty and majestic Mount Kanloon who brings pride to our province for being recognized as one of the ten gems of the Philippines along with our very own Apple Island. The Bugulasin Festival is a yearly celebration that brings festivals from all over the province together. The city of Dumaguete was also featured in Forbes magazine as one of the top seven best places to retire from all over the world. Nepos Oriental is also known for its delicious and mouth-watering delicacies. We are Nepos Oriental not only because of what we are able to offer, but also because of its never grandson. Our rich culture is what makes this province home. It is more fun than the Philippines. And that fun starts in Negros Oriental, naturally. Ilo Ilo City. A city running forward into the future. A city sustained by an immortal legacy. A legacy of culture. Of history. of people, monuments to our perseverance. We are Ilongos, proud and loving, as diverse and colorful as the city herself. In her veins still run the soul of yesterday. Our enduring traditions and story past remain etched in every Ilonga. Imbued in me is the spirit of this city. Ambitious, fierce, defiant. And no matter how hard the fall, Iloilo always rises. keeps running forward. I am Kesha Porgam Ramachandran from the City of Love and this is Ida Ida City. The drive. The charm. The beauty. The power. A woman who knows what she wants. who goes after her dreams by winning your heart. Who's 
face shows the alluring aklan. Whose strength empowers the Filipina. Cristel Abello is Miss Universe Philippines, Aklan. The seal and prestige of Bacolod. The Mascara Festival is one of the main parts of Bacolenos. The different signature of smiling faces in the mask were the reason why it was named the City of Smiles. The well-known festival symbolizes the spirit of being happy in spite of tough times. Not just having colorful smiles in our masks, we also embrace the vibrant costumes of our very own Mardi Gras. A kind of festival where we groove our soul with the upbeat medley evolution of Latin B. This is Saint Pia. Welcome to my home. But Khalid is not just all about leaving smiles in your face, but it is also a city that will give your taste buds a buzz for having great food. Mouth-watering servings, a kick of different flavors, and a handful of sweet treats, which can give you a taste of home. Exploring some of our historical sites will also give you a glimpse of how Bacolanius were known. San Sebastian Church, being one of the oldest parishes. A site where colorful festivals held, the city's popular public plaza. The Bacolod City Government Center is not only for our leaders, but it is also a popular landmark where people enjoy capturing their precious moments together. A kind of city that will highlight all your passion for culture and festivals. Your love for food? Your eagerness to learn history? Most of all, your way of celebrating captured moments. Wear your most genuine smile as you head up to Bacolod, your city of smiles. Hi everyone, this is Princess Christmasin and welcome to Pasig City! Samahan niyo kong libutin ang pinakamamahal kong Pasig City. History Diversity Community Progress Change Defined and harnessed by its history and now being one of the most highly urbanized cities in the Philippines, Pasig has immensely evolved through the years. As an overseas Filipino worker, I've always looked forward in going back home during important occasions, especially Christmas, to enjoy the most anticipated event in Pasig City, the traditional annual celebration of Pasco Tita. And of course, food! If you love pastries and native delicacies, the Masalang Bakery is the place to be. With an array of original recipes such as Brazo de Mercedes, their uniquely named Diko Akalain, and do their best-selling egg pie. These will surely arouse your taste buds and satisfy your cravings. And the most important asset of our city is our people, the Pasigenos. Speaking of Pasigenos, a cooperative called Healy's Foundation is an outcome of women empowerment. They became an effective partner in the area of solid waste management, of which products are now being sold in 12 countries, in Europe, Asia, and U.S. The past, the present, and the future. We hope that our city becomes instrumental 
in helping our nation build a better and promising future for everyone. Because in Pasig, patuloy na umaagos ang pag -asa. Again, this is Princess Krista Singh, proudly representing the city where the most handsome mayor lives, Pasig City. Mandaluyong City, the heart of Metro Manila. Kurin, saan ka sa Mandaluyong? Sa loob o sa labas? This is the Tiger City! World-class shopping malls, melting pot of fashion, leisure, glamour, and progress, Legendary home of the beauty, the brave, and the heroes. The smart city of the future. Growing up in the second smallest city of Metro Manila, Mandaluyong was once known as a joke town before it achieved its promising progress of the future. Truly proud of our humble beginning, our city is the home of people who takes care of the mentally ill at the National Center for Mental Health. We empower our citizens to reform and give chances to women who were deprived of freedom and liberty at the Correctional Institution for Women. And lastly, our people remain ultimately as the country's most child-friendly city of the Philippines as we continuously take care and provide the welfare of our children with various disabilities at the Project Teach Institution. All of these make us the people with compassionate hearts. Mandaluyong is a highly urbanized city at tune with balanced ecosystem and nurturing environment. We believe that real progress is at its peak through sustainable development. This is Maria Corazon Abalos. Tuloy po kayo sa loob ng Mandaluyong. Mabuhay! I am Rosane Marie Bernos and I'm happy to show you around the beautiful city of San Juan! San Juan City is very rich in history. In fact, this is where the first battle of the Philippine Revolution took place. In 1896, when Catepaneros attacked Spanish forces in San Juan del Monte, the Philippine Revolution truly began. Today, the spirit of Pinaglabanan lives on in us San Juanenos as we continue to face and win our own battles in the 21st century. The city of San Juan has since grown into a thriving residential and commercial hub known for its schools, hospitals, neighborhoods, art venues, and shopping centers. It is home to families, it is home to artists, and it is home to entrepreneurs. is also known as the Tangier capital of the Philippines. From our churches, monuments, and our prolific museums, to our restaurants and entertainment venues, San Juan City is where culture meets commerce. It's where yesterday meets the future. History, heritage, and progress. This is Makabagong San Juan.
Ma'abi Ga'aolo. I am Joanna Marie Rabe and welcome to my home. Only a soul founding walk from the forest, chattering mountains to the silent whispers of the waves on the beach. Zambales is truly a place where you can find inner peace as you glance towards the tranquil sunset. A trending summer destination located on the west coast of the country. Growing the sweetest mangoes, it can only be matched by the hospitality of the Zambalenos. The aftermath of Mount Pinatubo eruption shows how we remain resilient and steadfast, determined to rise from the ashes. Colorful celebration for a blessed and bountiful harvest such as the annual Dinamulag Mango Festival. Utilizing the natural resources, some Balanis can farm fresh produce for the markets, helping to build our economy and sustain the livelihood of the people. We respect the order of nature and put back just as much as we take. The journey to Zambales is a happy adventure to share with friends. Indulging in nature, the excitement of every conversation and every meal, the smiles of the people, and the unforgettable experience. This is where my dreams have been founded. This is my home, my tahanan. This is my Zambales. Beyond the beauty of Mount Mayon, what makes Alpay a unique travel destination? I am Janella Joy Quatin, and welcome to my province, Albay, where you can expect the unexpected. Albay is home to a never-ending abundance of wonders. Burning with passion, resilience, and grace, the people of Albay emulates the warmth and strength of Mount Mayon, proving that no amount of adversity can break us down. Years of our culture and heritage is presented through festivals. Magayon Festival being one of them honors the province's bounty and beauty. Speaking of bounty, you wouldn't want to miss out by fiery scenes, such as Bicol Express, Lying, and Chili Ice Cream. With so many things to offer, you'll be surprised with what awaits you here in Albay. A place where you can expect the unexpected. But for now, stay at home and keep safe. And when the time is right, we'll be right here waiting with our warmest welcome. Do you miss me? You've been apart too long. Haven't seen one another in a while. Have you been well? Have you suffered pain and loss? You must be tired. You need to come back. You need to rest. Normal is not coming back. But I am here. I am waiting. I have become even more beautiful and resilient in the face of an overwhelming crisis. There is nothing like waking up to see me, the one that you love. Nothing compares to my mist, my drizzles, my scent, my taste, my vibrance. I am both romantic and nostalgic. I am rich. 
my beautiful and tragic past a kaleidoscope. I am night and day. I am the rain and the sun. I am water and fire. You are rooted in me, me in you. We are deeply anchored and intertwined. This life, the universe transformed us, made us evolve with the seasons, with the monsoons and the storms, the rays, the heat of the sun. You must come back. You must care for me more than ever. Man to land, land to man. Come, breathe Baggy. The Drive. The charm, the beauty, the power, a woman who knows what she wants, who goes after her dreams by winning your heart. Shows the alluring Aklano. Whose strength empowers the Filipina. Cristel Abello is Miss Universe Philippines, Aklan. Iloilo City. A city running forward into the future. A city sustained by an immortal legacy. A legacy of culture, of history, of people. Monuments to our perseverance. We are Ilongos, proud and loving. As diverse and colorful as the city herself. In her veins still run the soul of yesterday. Our enduring traditions and storied past remain etched in every Ilonga. Imbued in me is the spirit of this city. Ambitious, fierce, defiant. And no matter how hard the fall, Ilo Ilo always rises. And keeps running forward. I am Kesha Pornam Ramachandran from the City of Love, and this is Ilo Ilo City. An island where the beauty of its sunrise not ceases to warm the hearts of its people.
where the praising mist of the mountains flow to a bed of wonders, and where its waves are as gentle as its people. Negros Oriental. The fun starts here naturally. Ako si Grace Charmaine Bendiola. Dali, dayon ka mo sa Maanyag o pinalangga pong probinsya, Negros Oriental. My home is a melting pot of natural wonders. Our beautiful beaches with its caressing ocean breeze ease the minds of those who feel and see its allure. Dive down into its depths and you'll find beauty in the abundance of marine biodiversity. Every step in the realms of God's glory, we receive and discover more than what we see. To our towering 100 foot tall Kaiserora waterfall that speaks worthy praise for its sheer beauty and splendor. To the mighty and majestic Mount Kanloon who brings pride to our province for being recognized as one of the ten gems of the Philippines along with our very own Apple Island. The Buglasin Festival is a yearly celebration that brings festivals from all over the province together. The city of Dumaguete was also featured in Forbes magazine as one of the top seven best places to retire from all over the world. Nepos Oriental is also known for its delicious and mouth-watering delicacies. We are Nepos Oriental not only because of what we are able to offer, but also because of its and every new grandson. Our rich culture is what makes this province home. It is more fun than the Philippines. And that fun starts in Negros Oriental, naturally. 13 cities, 19 municipalities, all entwined in one core. Beauty in diversity. Mabuhay! Maayo nga adlaw! I am Angela Nika de Grano. Welcome to my home, the land of sweet surprises, the province of Negros Occidental. Known as a sugar bowl of the Philippines, Negros Occidental is home to widespread cultivation of sugar cane. Meeting more than half the country's sugar production, the glorious province is more than just that. Celebrate nature's rich blessings, idyllic beaches with white and fine sand, splendid waterfalls and hot springs, numerous hiking trails, and many more. You can also travel back in time through some of our various heritage houses. Food is absolutely the love language of the Negrenses, along with the warmest smiles and genuine hospitality. The famous Panaad San Negros is a commemoration of the unity of every town within the province. Here, we choose to live simply and content. In the midst of the pandemic, the smile in our faces will never fade. Together, we look forward to face a new day radiating positivity and kindness. From the land of sweet surprises, we are here to surprise the universe. The seal and prestige of Bacolod. The Mascara Festival is one of the main prides of Bacolenos. The different signature of smiling faces in the mask were the reason why it was named the City of Smiles. The well-known festival symbolizes the spirit of being happy in spite of tough times. Not just having colorful smiles in our masks, we also embrace the vibrant costumes of our very own Mardi Gras. A kind of festival where we groove our soul with the upbeat medley evolution of Latin Week. This is Shane Pia. Welcome to my home. But college is not just all about leaving smiles in your face, 
but it is also a city that will give your taste buds a buzz for having great food. Mouth watering servings, a kick of different flavors, and a handful of sweet treats which can give you a taste of home. Exploring some of our historical sites will also give you a glimpse of how Bacolanius were known. San Sebastian Church, being one of the oldest parishes. A site where colorful festivals held, the city's popular public plaza. The Bacolod City Government Center is not only for our leaders, but it is also a popular landmark where people enjoy capturing their precious moments together kind of city that will highlight all your passion for culture and festivals. Your love for food. Your eagerness to learn history. And most of all, your way of celebrating captured moments. Wear your most genuine smile. As you head up to Bacolod, your city of smiles. Mabuhay! My name is Patricia Samantha Sonsago and I represent the iconic Quezon City! Feel the pulse of Quezon City as I tour you around. I was born, studied, and grew up here in Quezon City. Quezon City is part of my childhood. These places are very close to my heart. That in the hustle and bustle of Quezon City lies a sanctuary to appreciate nature more. Ilocosur, a province on the rise, a heritage of the north, a wonder of the world. May bag na aldaw ka da kayo amin? I am Camille Alaysa Quinola and this is my province, your next big destination, sure, Ilocosur. Located in the heart of Ilocandra, Ilocosur has always been known for its rich cultural history and amazing stories of the past. A home to many people of all race, creed, culture, and religion. Known as the cradle of two inscribed UNESCO World Heritage Sites, the famous Calle Crisologo of Vigan City, and the Church of Napintas, Kenalibno sa Santa Maria. Take all the turns and you will see the splendor of God's gift in Ilocano humanity. From the stone churches built over centuries, the Bel Iloco loom within industry, to the mouth water in the legacies, Empanada, Bagnet, Longganisa to name some. Surrounded by mountains and bodies of water, this province has a lot to reveal. Come and witness in your plain sight the other side of my province. 
This is an unending discovery of nature combined with adventure. No place, no food, no heritage bits, the Ilocano spirit, burning with love and inspiration. Everything else will fade and collapse in time, and the world might one day forget that these places existed. But the people? We will go on from generations to generations, until the world no more. are the hidden treasure of the country. You are not just an island province, and you are not only beaches after beaches or mountains after mountains. You are what makes it majestic and beautiful. Mabuhay! I am Simona Dean Bornelia, and welcome to my home province, the marvelous Marinduque! Marinduque is the home of the Geodetic Center of the Philippines and the reference point of all land surveys of the country. It also boasts one of the famous century-old churches of the Philippines, the Boac Cathedral. But importantly, it has the most welcoming people of the country with its tradition of putong, a ritual where the visitors are rendered with dances and songs and being crowned to be kings and queens. My home is popular among local and foreign tourists as it is the center of the Lenten season with its annual Moriones Lenten Rides. Another way to experience Marinduque is by its delicacies and seafood, mostly cooked with coconut milk. Yanni set up! Marinduque, you are not just all these. You are my home, a place that I would carry in my heart wherever I go. You are my marvelous Marinduque.
They say that there are stories that await to be heard and told, wonders that are yet to be discovered and people you have yet to come to know. And whenever I hear these things, I think of our culture, our people, our history, our home. Be mesmerized by Bulacan! Let's start off with the breathtaking paradise in Doña Remedios Trinidad, the Tilapilon Hills. A haven for all nature lovers, the best scene for the adventurers. Not only that, San Rafael River Adventure is also a place to breathe, to free yourself from stress, to push yourself into your limits, and to feel the love. But I wonder, aside from the beauty of our places, alam din kaya ng marami ang rikit ng ating kasaysayan? Na mayroong tatlong republika ang Bulacan? Republika ng Malolos, ang kauna-unahang republikang naititag sa kabuuan ng Asia. Itinatag upang tuligsain ang pananakop ng mga Espanyol pagkaraang mapagtibay ng Kongreso ng Malolos ang Konstitusyon. Republika ng Biak na Bato Dito ay nilagdaan ang kasunduang pangkapayapaan na naglalayong wakasan ang himagsikang Pilipino laban sa mga Kastila. Sa isang makasaysayang pook ng pandi, ang Republikang Real de Cacarong de Sili ay isa sa naging pinakaorganisadong revolusyonaryong pamahalaan sa bansa upang makamit ang kalayaan ng Pilipinas. Bulacan has stories that are worthy to be heard and shared, places you can call home, and people filled with hope and love. Our culture, our people, our history, our haven, our home. Be mesmerized by Bulacan. The luscious greens and verdant golden plains, the blue waters and worthy wonders, these are just but the kaleidoscope of Nueva Ecija. Nueva Ecija, exactly the same place where we are right now, where history and the past collide together with the present. Mainit na pagbati sa ating lahat. I am Maika Kabri Martinez. Let me take you to my province, Nueva Ecija! Hello there, universe. My name is Kirsten Daniel Dalabin, and I present to you Masbate. When you open the map of the Philippines, right at the heart of the Philippine archipelago is where you can find my hometown, Masbate. I am proud of this fact. Like a heart, 
this place really does pump so much joy and life to us Masbatenas and Masbatenas every day. Of course, here in Masbate, we have pristine beaches with crystal clear water, outstanding marine life, and postcard-worthy views and the rodeo action. Masbate would be regarded by tourists as a dream destination. But for me, Masbate is more than that. I have lived a full life here with these wonderful people. Almost every corner, every place has a special memory with people I know and love. Where neighbors know and love each other. That's one of the best part. In Masbate, there are almost a million of us here. But why does it feel like we all know each other? I have lived here for 15 years and its beauty still surprises me every day. I am proud of this province. I am a proud Masbatenya and this is my home, Masbate. The luscious greens and verdant golden plains, the blue waters and worthy wonders, these are just but the kaleidoscope of Nueva Ecija. Nueva Isina, exactly the same place where we are right now, where history and the past collide together with the present. Mainit na pagbati sa ating lahat, I am Maika Kabui Martinez. Let me take you to my province, Nueva Isina! Mabuhay! Ako po si Katrina de Mananan and please join me in exploring the Provinciedad of Taguig. The gig is the love child, known to be a balance between modernization and tradition. From striking architectures, the nature, and places to visit, the gig embraces the principle being in between urban and rural, hence the name, Provinciudad. A global city of progress known for favorite tourist spots, historical sites, and city activities, the gig is always innovating for the future and one of the leading forces for progress in the Philippines. Most importantly, the heart and soul of the gig is in its people and their passions. From all kinds of people such as tech geniuses to empowered women and to our dedicated festival attendees, the gig is an ecosystem of its own. It is the people that provides life and energy to make this city thrive. 
amidst the busy looks, the residents find ways to relax and find a place to center themselves physically, mentally, and of course, spiritually. One thing I love about the gig is that they have food from all regions of all over the Philippines. Ano ang pinaka known na delicacy ng Pampanga? Chicharon? Ay, nasuratahan ako. Favorite ko yan. Market Market is just one of the many places here in Taguig. Ay, sayang, wala nang time. There was so much more I wanted to show you guys. But you know what? I gotta go. See you next time, mga best. My name is Katrina Dimaranan, representing Taguig. It's more fun in a TK. Through high. Antique, where the mountains meet the sea. With 244 kilometers of lush emerald green mountainous terrain, alongside the sapphire blue seas teeming with diverse marine life, this lies of paradise where I grew up in dazzles and inspires. As you journey from north to south, soak up the sun and sea at our rugged shorelines that surprisingly lead to the pristine beaches of Pandan. In Kulasi, marvel at the mountain home of the ancient Visayan god, Bulalakao. Mount Majaas, the highest peak in all of Panay. Come learn the centuries-old art of patajong weaving while seated on a wooden loom in Bugasong. Or perhaps, you might find yourselves in the company of the Busarians, the fairy folk that roam the marvelous multi-tiered Bugtongbato waterfalls in Tibiao. Trek through verdant forests and take a regatta through one of the cleanest and crystal clear flowing waters in the country, the Bugang River. From highlands to islands, heed Antigua's call to adventure, pilgrimage, relaxation, and ecotourism. But this slice of paradise would not be complete without its greatest gem, the Antikenya people, embracing you as you arrive and warmly sending you off as you go, with smiles and memories that will surely make you want to come back to where the mountains meet the sea. Kruhai, this is Noelin Rose Mabuhay Campos, and that is how we have fun in Antique. I love Antique. I love Antique. Cebu, home of endless coastlines, warm local hospitality, and beautiful stories to tell. Here, you are not just a guest, you are a fan. Immerse in rich culture and history. Indulge in unique culinary escapades. Dive in the endless magical wonders of nature. Relax, enjoy, and experience one of the best islands this universe has to offer. Suddenly, everything became uncertain. But we are resilient. Our spirit continues to shine through as we stand tall. We strive not just to live, but to thrive. We stand together because we are in this together. And when you're ready to go on an adventure again, we'll be here to welcome you back. I am Steffi Rose Abirasturi. See you again in Cebu. In time.
I am blessed that I was raised in the most multicultural province of Central Luzon. Each place has a different story to tell. The collective history and triumphs of Tarlacanios contributed to the diverse cultures and traditions here in Tarlac. province welcomes you to experience the warmth of the community and the astounding places to visit. The natural beauty of Terlac will surely entice you to visit and stay. The origin of multiple groups from the provinces surrounding Terlac united as one and gave rise to the melting pot of central Luzon. Let the wonders of my province speak what it can offer. Intayon bisitaan Piti Provincia. Ganda at galing natural tarla. Located in the northern Mindanao region is an eco-tourism paradise that lures you into limitless discoveries, leaving you with a longing to return after your visit. I am Trello Grace Falconer and I invite you to explore the amazing secrets of my home, Misamis Oriental. Imagine yourself in a state of utter thrill as you indulge in the embracing comfort of nature's bliss. The promise of a refreshed soul is truly a certainty when you explore the waterfalls. And while you relish the majestic cascades, you'll find yourself at once gaping into astonishment for the sight rhythmically unfolding before your eyes. Traveling through the countryside, it's impossible to miss the captivating ridges that nestle in the stunning blend of green landscapes. The solemn atmosphere welcomes you at a historical site interestingly facing the highest peak in the province. If you are a nature lover, tuck away in a forest ecosystem that provides home for a huge variety of flora and fauna. Experience a worthwhile escape at one of the country's cleanest coastlines, an aquamarine park where mangroves thrive and bamboo cottages are designed for relaxation. Want to feel the sea breeze and hear the sound of the waves? Set your feet on the ever-present stretch of the beach with pristine white sand glistening through the day. As the sun sets and the gentle lights around the shore light up, the vision of serenity transports you to a different realm altogether. Surely, there is an unquenchable thirst for a getaway. This is a place where you get to capture our spectacular scenery and breathtaking seascapes. Our amazing secrets waiting for you to explore. This is Miss Orr. Explore Miss Orr. Hello, ako si Stephen Rose Pearson Abirastori. I'm an online seller and my friends call me Queen Dara. Queen plus Tindera. I've been a Tindera ever since when I was in high school and until now I was able to carry it on. I've been selling food, clothes, pajamas, skincare and that is something I want to share to the universe. I'm a farm girl. I love, love animals, 
In fact, I have seven dogs, tons of cats, birds, fishes, and a snake bed. I love nature. Here in Cebu, we have the best beaches in the universe. Maayong adlaw kaninyong tanan. I'm Beatrice Luigi Gomez. I work as a community development worker and I'm a proud Philippine Navy Marines Reservist under the 82nd Marine Battalion of the Naval Reserve Center of Eastern Visayas and I'm a huge sports enthusiast. As a former volleyball varsity player, I still continue to play sports, but now I am more interested in boxing, scuba diving, and I'm a huge MMA fan. I am also a huge adrenaline junkie. In fact, I just finished my first ever 42 kilometer run recently, and that's for the benefit of children affected by the armed conflict in Negros. So, alang sa mga kaigsuunan kung subo anon, daghan kaayong salamat sa inyong paghigugma o pagsuporta alang kanako.